the red shirts are defiant. The Thai army says it will reclaim Bangkok streets. But these protesters are unbowed. They're risking their lives. As we filmed this red shirt protest, we saw ambulances carry away at least three men. The red shirts claim they were shot by army snipers. Snipers. Sniper. Government snipers? Yes. yes sniper. You've seen them? Yeah. Yeah. Yesterday. Oh. You saw somebody being shot yeah. Yeah. yesterday? Yeah. Yeah. Here. Yeah. 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 By the same government yeah. snipers? Yeah. yeah. Every day. Reuters photographer Idris Latif was on the scene when another protester took a bullet. Yeah, someone was shot and uh, these red shirt uh, supporters went in and they were pulling the body out. They're carrying it to one of the side streets, and then an ambulance came. A bit later here, they're going past a plume of smoke coming from a he burning. He looks like he's been shot either in the neck or in the head. Yeah, he was shot in the head. It seems like he was shot with a sniper from one of the buildings. Thailand's leader is struggling to keep law and order. A citywide curfew has been threatened. Parts of Bangkok still resemble a war zone, despite all the tough talking from the Thai Prime Minister about the troops regaining the streets. Burning Thai barricades like this one still keep red shirt protesters a good length away from government troops. The people here say there are army snipers in the tower blocks around us who are picking off the protesters. The elderly, women and children are fleeing the area. The Red Cross has been sent in to evacuate this neighborhood. Thai troops have been ordered to take back red shirt controlled areas, but the red shirts say they cannot give in. Bangkok, for now, will continue burning.